for decades, Bentonard has been making some of the most coveted putters in the game of golf. They look like something that should be displayed in a jewelry case next to a tennis bracelet or next to a diamond engagement ring. And yes, the company has made some wedges in the past, but these are the first two irons that Bentonardi has ever produced. This is the CB24 and the MB24. And if you like everything that Bentonardi stands for when it comes to putters, precision craftsmanship, the use of high-end materials, classic design, then this is probably gonna be an iron set that you're gonna to wanna to learn more about. So first things first, these are definitely better player irons. If you're somebody who struggles with a consistent swing, you lack power, if you need a lot of forgiveness from your iron, you can look someplace else. This is just what you would think a Bettinardi iron would be. We've got a classic cavity back iron with the CB24, and we have a classic muscle back blade with the MB24. They are both going to be forged from 1025 carbon steel for a very, very soft feel. However, Bettinardi has infused specific areas of the steel in different clubs with a combination of tungsten and a ceramic material. Now the tungsten has a very high density, so you can concentrate weight in a very, very small place, which is good because both the CB24 and the MB24 have a very short, compact blade length. There's not a lot of room to maneuver. But by concentrating more weight in the long irons, low in the heads, it's gonna to help to lower the center of gravity, which is gonna make those clubs a little bit easier to use when you wanna hit a higher shot. However, both Bettinardi irons have a progressive center of gravity, which means that the CG location elevates as you work your way up through the set. So the mid irons have a slightly higher center of gravity than the long irons. And the scoring clubs, the eight, nine, and the pitching wedge that come with this set are going to have the highest center of gravity of them all. And that's gonna help you flight your approach shots down for better distance control and better accuracy. From a looks perspective, again, these are classic better player irons. You have a very thin top line, a relatively narrow sole, just a hint of offset, and really nothing extraneous, not a lot of visual distractions. If we are splitting hairs, the MB24 does have a very slightly thinner top line, but you'd have to hold these clubs next to each other, I think, and really almost get a jeweler's loop to be able to see that it is in fact a thinner top line. They are very, very similar. And I think that working with a custom fitter, you will be able to get a blended set if you're an accomplished player of CBs in your long irons and then maybe transitioning into the MBs in your mid irons and your scoring clubs if that's something you want to do. Ultimately, for all better player irons, it really comes down to feel and consistency. For accomplished golfers, players who are consistently shooting in the 70s, maybe even hitting every once in a while into the 60s, they want to be able to control the ball flight, they want to be able to feel good shots, and they even want to feel miss hits. If they hit a ball out to the toe or in the heel, they hit it thin. They want an iron that's going to let them know that immediately. They want that feedback. With the CB, there is some perimeter weighting. You'll notice that there is a cavity back design here, but there is quite a bit of mass that's been placed directly behind the area where you would be making contact with the ball. And that's gonna amplify feel and help to give you a little more ball speed. It's gonna create a little bit more momentum. But theoretically, that perimeter weighting is gonna to help to add just a little touch of stability, which is important when you've got a blade length that's going to be this short. When you transition into the MB, you get none of that perimeter weighting. This is a true muscle back blade. So it's designed for players who have extremely powerful, very predictable, very repeatable swings. Again, you've got a little bit more concentration of weight directly behind the area where you're gonna be making contact with the ball but there is nothing in here that is going to be a forgiveness story, that is going to be a consistency story. You need to have a repeatable swing. So if you're a low handicap golfer with a powerful repeatable swing, you want control and you want feel above everything else, you might want to talk to a good custom fitter about the new Bettinardi CB24 and MB24 irons.